Hello and welcome to another installment of Mr. ACAD Tutorials. Today we will be learning how to create isometric drawings using AutoCAD. And before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out. Thank you guys for your support. And also if at any point I lose you in this process or if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll try to answer those questions as soon as possible. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing I like to do when I'm doing isometric drawings is I like to start from the furthest line to the left or the furthest line to the right, whichever one. In this case, I'm going to start with the vertical line that's furthest to the left. And we're going to make that three inches. So I'm going to go ahead and change my layer here just so you can see a little bit better. And then go down three inches. And with isometric drawings, we need to go at an angle of 30 degrees. So the way we do that is down here, there's a circle with a little angle on there. It's called polar tracking. If you click on the arrow right next to polar tracking, it shows you the different angles we can use. For isometric, we use 30, 60, 90. So this is the one you will click on. As you can tell, it locks in every 30 degrees, so that's zero. Isometric, we said we're going to use 30, 60, 90, so in this case, we'll wait for it to lock in at 30 degrees. Type in 4, enter. We're going to create this vertical line of 1 inch right here. So I'm getting all my dimensions from this. All of these little areas here are all going to be 1 inch. All the thicknesses right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. What I did right now is I click spacebar. Spacebar allows you to go to the last command you just used. You go down two inches. Make that line to this line right there. Now I'm gonna click spacebar again one more time. I'm gonna go up here now, create this step. So before it was zero and we were going down 30 degrees. Now we're gonna go up 30 degrees. So up 30 degrees, the depth is 2.5 that's how thick this object is and i'm gonna go down 30 i mean two inches right here so i'm gonna go down 30 degrees two inches right here. and then i'm gonna go from this right here so simple math if this line in the back is 2.5 and if this is one inch then therefore this must be 1.5 so 1.5 enter this must be one inch, like that there. Also, I'm gonna go 1.5 this direction. As you can tell, there's a vertical line right here and there's another line coming off that other vertical. Okay, also 30 degrees and this one's also gonna be three inches, enter. I can now connect this line here Now let's do the bottom one. The bottom is going to be 2.5 as well, just like the top up here. 2.5, enter. Go up one inch, enter. And I'm going to connect that line right there. So the only thing that's left now is this slant. So I always like to leave the slants for last because I don't know how long that slant is and I don't care how long that slant is. I don't know the angle of that slant either. All I know is the starting point and I know the ending point and that's all I need to know. So I'm gonna click on this starting point. I know it has to end right there. So I'm gonna go to the same thing for the other side. I know the starting point. I know the ending point. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just dimension this just to prove we have all the right dimensions. So go to the dimension right here. Two point five inches. This one right here is four inches. And this one here is three inches. All right. 
Now you're probably wondering, how did I create these layers? So if you stuck around this long, you probably are curious. I go to layer properties up here, click on layer properties. Hover over this one right here, it says new layer, the orange one, click on that one. And that one allows me to create a new layer, All right? And I can call this layer dimensions. If I go over to the right, I can change the color of that layer as well. I can add multiple layers for text. I can add a layer for anything else that I want. And that's what I did here at the beginning. I created a layer for my dimensions, which will be in white, and then my lines will be in yellow. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next installment of Mr. ACAT Tutorials.